the what the aim of the experiment is to simulate the rc coupled amplifier using the bjp and the apparatus or the simulation software required is of the it is proteus 8.1 it is simulation software here uh, so this is the circuit diagram and uh, it is whatever the design values uh, so that you can uh, you can take on your on your own or uh, it is already explained in the uh, it is a session 3 of the week 4 it is where you can calculate the designing of for this uh, voltage divider bias okay and the, uh, in this experiment i took the value of the r1 as the 33 kilo ohm r2 as of the 3.3 kilo ohm rc as of the 10 kilo ohm and re as of the it is it is 1 kilo ohm and i am using the npn transistor and i am using the coupling capacitor one of approximately 10 microfarad and the coupling capacitor two is of the it is 10 microfarad i am using the bypass capacitor value of the 47 it is microfarad and i am using applying the sine waves here and the vcc i am going to give of the 9 volts here and uh, whatever the signal the input signal i am going to see it on the cro and the output signal is also connected on the the cro at the channel b here okay uh, so this is all uh, so in this way so that you can able to see you can able to get the output i will show you that experiment okay it is what to be noted here is the amplitude of the input signal is to be okay it is noted and also the time division of the input signal and you, you should also note down the frequency of the input signal and the amplitude of the uh, it is output signal input as well as the input signal okay uh, so voltage time and the frequency is to be calculated for the input as well as for the output here this is all the all all the procedure uh, i will show you the uh, it is uh, it is visually uh, instead of reading out all these points okay uh, so if you take this circuit diagram uh, so first i will go i will open the proteus software it is proteus design suit 8.13 uh, okay you first go it into the file and you do the new project i am going to open the new project uh, and you give the name in this case uh, i am going to give the name this is an rc coupled amplifier no uh, so i am going to give as an rc here rc uh, CE. So RC coupled, it is common emitter amplifier in this way. I will assume so that you can give the any name here and it should be extended with the dot. It is PDSPRJ. Okay, it is by default will be will be there. And after that, you click the next here. And after that, you select it is create is a schematic from the selected template as the portrait A4. And uh, after that, you click on the next. And you should select it is do not create a PCB layout. And after that, click next. And you should select it is no firmware project. And after that, you click as the next and finish it. Uh, after that, you can able to see the schematic. Okay, it is editor here. And you can take the components in this case as per the circuit diagram here. It is what are all the components is required so that you can take here. Uh, it is as per the circuit diagram. Uh, it is what are all the components here i'm sorry uh, see here uh, so this r1 i should take the bjt first here uh, so i will go to the components here for the components you should go into the p here in the p you should select the npn here you, you should type the npn and you and uh, you click on the bipolar transistor and you can select this npn transistor here you should select the generic npn okay and you can also see the symbolic representation here and you click on the okay you can able to see the npn has been arrived here okay and after that you click on at this place so that you can place the npn transistor and after that you are in need of the four registers here r1 rc r2 and the re so for that purpose, you should again click on the P and in the keywords, you type as RES, okay? And you select the registers here. Uh, where is the registers? You can see the registers here. And in the register, you select the generic register here. You can see the okay symbol of the generic register, okay? 
uh, and you click on the OK. You select four register here. It is register one, register two, register three, register four. And after that, uh, you can uh, okay rotate as per your requirement. I'm going to I'm going to rotate here. Okay. Uh, and after that, you can give the names for this here. Uh, so for, this is an uh, RC register. Okay, I'm going to give the RC and its value is going to be the 4K. So I have chosen this as the 4K. You can see it here. This is, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it is 10K. It is 10, okay, it is 33, 3.3, okay, 1K. So RC value is going to be the 10K here. It is 10 kilo ohm. And uh, I'm going to change this as an R1. And R1 value is going to be 33 kilo ohm. Okay, this is 33 kilo. And uh, I'm going to change this as an R2. R2, and it is going to be the 3.3. This is going to be 3.3 .3 kilo ohm. And uh, RE, I'm going to change the name as RE. And the RE is going to be of the one kilo ohm here. RE is going to be of the one kilo ohm. So the values has been taken as per the design. And after that, you are in need of the capacitors here. It is two, okay, it is capacitor. Uh, for that, again, you should go it into the, it is components here, P. And you should type the name as the, it is CAP, it is capacitors. You can see the capacitor here. And in this, you should select the generic capacitor here, okay? You can see the generic here. The symbol has been arrived here. Okay, and you click on the OK. And you place one capacitor at the input side here and another capacitor at the output side at this place. Okay, and after that, you change the values here. What is the values? Uh, this is going to be the 10 microfarad. It is also going to be the 10 microfarad. And CB is going to be the 47 microfarad. So I am in need of the one more capacitor here. OK? And you can rotate this as per your okay, requirement. OK? And I'm going to change its value. Uh, it is going to be the 10 okay, it is micro here. This is 10 micro. OK? And uh, you can see this is go also going to be the 10 okay, micro here. This is 10 micro. And click as OK. And this is going to be the 47 micro here. OK, this is 47 this micro here. Oh, this microfarad. OK, the values has been okay chosen here. OK, it is 10 microfarad, 10 microfarad, this 47 microfarad. And after that, you should select the it is uh, voltage source here. Uh, for that, again, you should go it into the P. And here you type as the V source. Yes, O U R C E. It is V source. And you can able to see the DC voltage source here. DC voltage source. And you can see the symbolic representation also. And you can click and you place the DC voltage source here. OK. And if you want to do the little bit adjustment, you can do the adjustment as in this way here. OK. And after that, you can rotate as per your requirement. OK. And after that, uh, you are in need of the ground. For the ground, you can see the terminals here. OK. It is terminals mode. And you can select the ground here. One ground for this voltage source. And I am in need of the one ground at for this emitter section. And after that, uh, what else is needed? Uh, so this sine wave pattern and one CRO is to be required here. So for the sine wave, again, you should go it into the it is components. I'm sorry, wait here. Uh, it has been, I should select the components here. You can see here the component mode and you, you should click on the P and here you should select the V sign here. This, okay, the V sign. You can able to see the AC symbolic representation. You can able to see, and you should select the okay. It is B sign, and you can able to drop the uh, this uh, AC source. And for this uh, also, you can, if you want means you can take the ground or it can be connected for this ground only here. And for the CRO, you can able to see the it is virtual instruments mode. In this virtual in instruments mode, you can see the first oscilloscope. 
and you can select and place the oscilloscope here. Okay. And the next, uh, you should rig up the circuit here. Okay. All the components has been taken. I'm going to do the connection here. Uh, uh, and this voltage is to be get changed. This is an VCC. Uh, this is to be changed for the this nine volts as per the design. And for this voltage sine wave, uh, for the DC offset, you should make this as the zero. And the amplitude I'm going to apply as of the 10, okay, it is milli volts, it is 10 milli volts. And the frequency I'm going to give as of the one kilohertz or of the thousand hertz here. Uh, and after that, what this time delay should be zero and what this damping factor is also to be the zero. And after that, I will do the connection here. Uh, so this cap, uh, input signal is to be applied for the capacitor, uh, input signal. Okay, and uh, from the capacitor, it is coupling capacitor, it is to be connected to the base. Okay, and uh, from the R1, it is to be connected to the base and from the R2 is also to be connected to the base and from the R1 is to be connected to the RC and uh, this plus VCC is to be connected for the uh, in between R1 and RC and this other end is to be connected for the ground and this RC is to be connected for the collector terminal and this coupling capacitor is to be connected here and this emitter terminal is to be connected for RE and this R2 is to be connected for the RE and okay this end is to be connected for the ground and this C is also to be get connected for the ground here okay this one is also to be get connected for the ground here okay and uh, this bypass capacitor is to be connected across the re okay okay re and uh, you can i am going to connect the input signal at the channel a input signal at the channel A, so to measure the input and the output signal, I'm going to measure, I'm going to connect it at the channel B, okay? This is the circuit, okay? You can able to see the circuit has been, okay, rigged up. And now you should go into the debug and you start, okay, debugging. Uh, and after that, you should run here. You can see the run option. Okay, and after that you can able to see the signal here. And you can able to see the input is to be connected for the where A. You can able to see the channel A is of the place uh, of the color, what? Yellow. And the output is to be connected at the channel B and the B is of the blue color. So for that purpose, you can able to see this A is of the, it is yellow color. And you can able to see this amplitude knob of the yellow color and you, you slightly rotate this, okay? And you can able to see the signal here, okay? This is then input signal here. So I have applied the input in terms of the 10 milli here. So I have kept the multiplication factor for the 10 milli. And after that, you can able to see this is an output and you can rotate it is blue color knob here on rotating the it is blue color knob so that you can able to see the uh, it's increase here okay and after that you can able to see this is having an 180 degree out of phase here okay it is uh, it is one and 180 degree phase shift output signal and uh, uh, so in this way this is an input signal and this is an output amplified signal and it is uh, in, in this case, what to be noted here? Okay, so as per the table, in this as per the table, amplitude voltage, it is time division and the frequency is to be calculated for the input signal as well as for the output here. For that, so that you can able to see the amplitude of the peak to peak. Okay, this is of the, it is, it is of the one unit and this is, okay, two unit. It is two into the multiplication factor. You can able to see the 10 M. 2 into 10 means it is equal to 20 milli volts. Okay, it is what the input signal of the peak to peak is equal to 20 milli volts here. And uh, it is positive is equal to 10 milli volts and what the negative cycle is equal to 10 milli volts. 
So this is equal to peak to peak, uh, its amplitude is equal to, it is 20, it is milli volts. This is an input signal and it is to be entered at this place. Amplitude of the input signal is equal to 20 milli volts. And after that, uh, if you want to note down the time division so that you can able to see, you can able to measure for the one cycle. So it is for the one cycle, this is equal to the, it is one unit here. It is one unit into, you can see the time division here. It is one M. So it is one unit. It is one into one is equal to one M. So one M means it is one milli. One into 10 to the power of four, it is minus three. So in, in the time division, you should may, you indicate as of the, it is one millisecond. And after that, what this, uh, this frequency, it is F is equal to, it is one divided by, the, it, is, it is one millisecond. So the frequency is equal to, it is one kilohertz here. And in the same way, if you want to note down the output, the output amplitude, you can able to see, this is approximately equal to one, two, okay, three, four here. So this is equal to four, into it is 0.2, 4 into 0.2, okay. 4 into 0 0.2 means this is uh, equal to 0 0.8. So that you should note down the uh, amplitude output voltage is equal to, uh, it is 0 0.8 volts. See here, I have applied the input peak to peak is equal to 20 milli volts in terms of the milli and the output is equal to 0 0.8 volts. So it has been amplified by the many times, okay. And if you do the output by the input, so that you can able to get the, uh, it is gain here. In the same way, if you want to note down the time division, uh, it is also approximately equal to one cycle here. This is one unit here. So this one unit into one, this is one millisecond. So its frequency is going to remain the same here. So the frequency is equal to one millisecond. And uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's a time division is equal to, it is one millisecond and it is frequency is equal to, it is one divided by one millisecond is equal to, it is of the one kilohertz here, okay. This is uh, all about uh, the simulation uh, of the, this is uh, RC coupled amplifier here. Okay, I think you have understood this one.